Well, the editorial boards of two international newspapers calling on the United States to pardon NSA leaker Edward Snowden. Both the New York Times and the UK's Guardian are saying that clemency should be given to the American fugitive. Right now, if Snowden were to return to the U.S., he would be charged with espionage and theft. New York Republican Congressman Peter King on the House Homeland Security Committee joins us. He's chairman of the Subcommittee on Counter in, uh, Counterterrorism and Intelligence. Sure. Congressman, thanks for being with us. Good to see you. Uh, you know, so, so here we have a 29-year-old techie who decides all on his own that the NSA is violating the Constitution, and he is not, mind you, a lawyer, no college education, didn't even graduate from high school. He plans this out in advance, get a job with the NSA contractor, and when he gets there, he steals all this classified information and leaks it. <laughs> does, in your mind, does that merit clemency or a pardon? Absolutely not. As far as I'm concerned, Edward Snowden is uh, either a traitor or a defector or both. And the New York Times is an accomplice. They, to me, their editorial today, and their whole pattern over the last several years, they've really made themselves a blame America first rag, as far as I'm concerned. And why we exalt the New York Times is beyond me. Edward Snowden has put American lives at risk. And the New York Times saying today, for instance, that uh, all the rights that are being violated, uh, the president's panel had said that. What the president's panel actually said was that rights are not violated, that the intelligence is very important, and that the uh, leaks by Snowden that have hurt on national security. They, the panel said that, the president said that, and for that, somehow the New York Times to say that this person who has caused tremendous damage to the United States is either a narcissist or God knows what's wrong with him, but the fact that he right. has done this uh, and he should get a pardon or get any type of preferential treatment, absolutely wrong. The New York Times is a pattern. They went after the NYPD. Sure. They smeared Ray Kelly. They, uh, several years ago, they disclosed the SWIFT program, which enabled us to track terrorist finances. They go out of their way as to be apologists for terrorists, right. and they go after those in law enforcement and the military who are trying to win this war. Well, you know, if you dig deep into the Times uh, recommendation here, the Times makes what appears to be to many people a mendacious claim that Snowden did no harm to national right. security. Well, for one, foreign governments now don't want to help us and, and give us their intelligence information. And the former NSA director, uh, Michael uh, Snowden, uh, excuse me, Michael Hayden said this, put it up on the screen. What I'm most afraid of is that we will reveal our sources and methods, our tactics, techniques, and procedures to people all over the world who will then do the American nation and the American people harm. Is he right? He's absolutely right. General Hayden is a patriot. No one is more knowledgeable than this because he was head of the NSA and he was also head of the CIA. So General Hayden knows as much, if not more, about this than anyone, and he knows the tr a tremendous uh, damage that Snowden has caused. And for him to be facilitated and advanced and promoted by the right. New York Times, to me, speaks volumes about the Times. They're a disgrace. Their editors are a disgrace. Right. And I wish they c cared more about America than they did about the rights of terrorists well, and Jesus. Well, you know, after Snowden stole the data, uh, he leaked it to Glenn Greenwald, who refers to Snowden uh, consistently as a whistleblower. Well. You know, I checked the whistleblower statute. Snowden does not remotely qualify as a whistleblower. Uh, he, he could have taken the legal route and been protected under the law. You're a lawyer. Uh, would you agree? Right. Yes, I do. I do agree with that. And the, the bottom line of all this, though, Greg, is that no one has found any violations. I mean, for these billions and billions of phone calls, of uh, phone numbers that are collected, there's been no violations, no phone calls are being listened to, no emails are being read. The fact is, I think right now there's approximately 60 American citizens around the world whose phone calls are being monitored, and that's only a, it's an exhaustive court process. This right. is monitored by the courts, monitored by the Justice Department, monitored by the Congress. There's no abuses, and yet the New York the Times races to Snowden's defense. They don't care about American lives being lost. They have this narrow, liberal, left-wing ideological view. They did it to the NYPD. They're trying to do it to the right. NSA. It's time for Americans to stand up and reject the New York Times and expose them for the reg that they are. All right. Well, Supreme Court is long held. There's no right to privacy when you share your information to a third party, in this case, right. telephone companies. Absolutely not. So the law is pretty clear on this. Congressman Peter King, good to see you, Peter. Peter, thanks very right. much. Thank you.